Our sun is enormous, more than a million Earths could fit inside of it. But on a stellar scale, it could be swallowed up by about half of all stars observed so far, especially stars like UY Scuti. The largest known star in the universe, UY Scuti, is a variable hypergiant with a radius around 1,700 times larger than the radius of the Sun. To put that in perspective, the volume of almost 5 billion suns could fit inside a sphere the size of UY Scuti. In 1860, German astronomers at the Bonn Observatory first cataloged UY Scuti, at the time naming it BD 12-5055, reported Astronomy Magazine. During a second observation, Astronomers realized it grows brighter and dimmer over a 740-day period, leading to its classification as a variable star. The star lies near the center of the Milky Way, roughly 9,500 light-years away from Earth. Located within the constellation Scutum, UY Scuti is a hypergiant star. Hypergiants, larger than supergiants and giants, are rare stars that shine very brightly. They lose much of their mass through fast-moving stellar winds. If UY Scuti replaced the Sun in the center of the solar system, its photosphere would extend just beyond the orbit of Jupiter. The nebula of gas ejected from the star extends far beyond the orbit of Pluto to 400 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun. UY Scuti's large radius does not make it the most massive or heaviest star. That honor goes to R136A1, which weighs in at about 300 times the mass of the Sun but only about 30 solar radii. UY Scuti, in comparison, is only about 30 times the mass of the Sun, but far greater in volume. Size comparisons are still more complicated because UY Scuti doesn't remain stagnant. It pointed out that the star varies in brightness as it varies in radius. And the measurement that has now has a margin of error of about 192 solar radii. The variation or margin of error each could allow other stars to beat out UY Scuti in the race for size. In fact, there are as many as 30 stars whose radii approach or surpass UY Scuti's smallest estimated size, so the behemoth shouldn't sit too securely on its throne. This is Armel by the way, thank you for listening.